I wanted to start by asking, this is a movie that feels like it lets kids and young people have agency, right? They make decisions and they drive things forward and they handle their responsibilities. And I was curious if that was important for you to portray on screen or if you think that's important for young audiences to see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was definitely why I was so excited about the project, because uh, I think the allegories are really strong. Just seeing these kids who have these abilities, um, they don't know exactly how to utilize them at first. It's kind of a cultural phenomenon. Uh, they're maybe scared of it at first, but then they learn how to use them. They put in the work of researching it. They put in the work of, of learning how to stand in their authenticity and their truth. and they use that to fight a system of government that they don't believe in. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I wanted to ask also about Jennifer. You know, I was reading about her earlier today and her career is so accomplished, and yet this was her first live action feature film. So can you talk about having her uh, sort of steering the ship for this project in particular? It was so cool to see the way that Jen commanded the set because She's kind of like a stealthy director. She never yelled at anyone, never made anyone feel small, never exercised her control in that way, but instead had this like stealthy, kind of insidious, in a good way, um, control. Because she, these people trusted her and they wanted to make her happy and, and satisfy her needs. And so that's how we felt as actors. Well, so in the movie, um, as you mentioned a little bit before, in the world of The Darkest Minds, there different colors represent different uh, abilities or skill sets, right? So you are an orange, so you have mind control, and, uh, and so on. So I wanted to know, what would you be? In real life. Like what color would I like to be or what color would I probably Both? be? I would like to be a blue. Mm -hmm. I think they would come in handy in terms of fighting bad guys, but also just like eating pizza on my couch. I could just like <laughs> directly into my mouth. Mm -hmm. Probably in, in reality, I'd probably be a green. Okay. I'd say. Maybe some heightened abilities to understand radio frequencies, <laughs> sounds, stuff like that. Well, what about some of your co-stars? What about Mandy Moore? What color do you think she would be? I think Mandy would be green. Mandy's so smart, you know, and and really is interested in just like getting to the bottom of things and talking them through and stuff, so I think she'd be green. Okay, Mia would be an orange. Okay. Because I think that girl has the power of mind control. Uh, she's so adorable, she can make anything, anyone do anything she wants them to do. Skyland would probably be a blue. I think Harris would probably be a blue too. So no reds. Jennifer would be a red, uh, the director, because because she is a huge pyromaniac and she wants to set things on fire. 